What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and the only reason I am making this video is to make sure that my audience, I'm here to make sure that my subscribers are safe because that awful space weather has been acting up a lot lately. Oh man, the space weather was really bad today. It knocked out all of our cell phone services. It knocked out everything. That big, bad space weather. <laughs> How stupid does that sound? I think these people really think we're stupid. They're coming up with new terms, new ways to frighten us. New ways to fear monger. No longer do we have to worry about global warming or climate change. Now we got to worry about space weather. Now, for those of you all who don't know, or maybe you don't live in America, today there was a massive outage on cell phone services and various other services across America. Quite possibly one of the biggest outages I have ever seen in my life. Now, they're just reporting that all of these cell phone companies experienced outages, but if you go and do your research, you will see a ton of other things were affected. It's not just cell phones, hell. Even Fortnite was affected, the video game that all of your kids spend too much money on with the microtransactions so they can have new costumes. And listen, you don't even want to get into that conversation, but anyways... If you do your research, you will see that it's not only cell phone companies that were affected. Yes, it did affect over a dozen cell phone companies, but like I said, it affected Google, it affected YouTube, of course, it affected Fortnite. There's so many different companies that were effective. Hell, today, when I went to my local Starbucks to get coffee, they were closed because their systems were down. Now, earlier this morning, the news, the mainstream media tried to hop on this story. They tried to cover things up. They tried to go ahead and put a false narrative out there. They started blaming space weather. They blamed solar flares. Now, it's possible that a flare from the sun could knock out our satellites. That's possible, right? But you, you, you have to really think about the explanations that these people give. Because sometimes it will sound good. And when it comes to something like space weather and solar flares, who are we to know any different, right? That's scientific mumbo jumbo that we don't really understand. So it sounds good when you first hear it. But if you sit there and you think for just a moment, it starts to sound stupid. A solar flare, space weather, knocked out cell phone services. Well, why did this solar flare, why did this space weather only affect communications in America? How come people aren't affected in Finland? How come people aren't affected in Australia? How come the cannibals out in Cambodia don't, you know, how come they have cell phone service, but we don't? You have to really think about it. So... In my opinion, of course, I'm no expert, okay? I'm not out here on an international space station, okay? I don't know what the hell is going on. But in my opinion, if this was a solar flare, if this was space weather, this would be a problem that's affecting other places on Earth, not just America. So I told you all this morning that I thought it was a cyber attack. But the only problem is, and I hate to have to view the world this way, but in the world we're living in, in the country we're living in, we have to wonder, is this a cyber attack from a foreign enemy country or is this our own country doing this to us? Because it's clear that a lot of the people running this country want to destroy this country. So you have to ask that question, unfortunately. But as the mainstream media was out here running wild with this space weather nonsense, People online were questioning things, myself included. We were poking holes in the narrative. And before you knew it, a couple of hours later, they had to come forward and admit that the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI are now investigating this situation because they think it's a possible, it's a possible cyber attack. Well, duh. It was obvious to begin with, and it was obvious to them, but instead of telling us the truth, they tried to give us space weather mumbo jumbo, but it didn't work. We picked them apart. 
We, we made them panic to the point that they had to come out and kind of be a little more truthful because it was revealed that now there's a lot of pharmacies around America that have been shut down. Their systems have been taken down due to cyber attacks. It may be a couple of days before their systems get back up. So now we have sick Americans all around America that aren't going to be able to get their medications and stuff like that because of these little cyber attacks. Now, what people need to understand is all it takes is a cyber attack to take the internet and the phone lines down for a day or two to basically almost destroy our entire economy. All right, I, it, it's tough to think of and it's scary, but all it takes is for a couple of days for this whole little system that we got going on in America, all it takes is a couple of days to totally cripple us. But I know a lot of people will be skeptical about what's going on. So let's go ahead and check out this clip where they admit that now the FBI is investigating this situation and they think it's a possible cyber attack. Before I roll this clip, though, hit that thumbs up button to help this video in the algorithm. We're going to watch this clip and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. Now, the belief is it was a cyber attack. Yeah, well, they don't know yet. We know from a memo, a Department of Homeland Security memo that we received that the FBI and DHS and the cybersecurity agency, they are trying to figure this out right now. Was it a cybersecurity attack or was it a technical glitch? There is nothing according to the memo reading from it. The cause of the outage is unknown, but there are no indications of malicious activity right now. And so they are working on this actively knowing that Israeli telecom has been targeted in the, the last number of months by uh, a number of different uh, potential actors in this, uh, Iranian proxies and others who have gone after the, the systems in Israel. Is that something that was going on here? There is no indication of it right now. AT&T service is coming back up, but uh, was there something malicious with it? They don't know yet. We don't know yet. Service is being restored right now. Yesterday, I put out a video saying that my number one goal on this channel is to make sure that none of my audience, I want to make sure that none of my subscribers are ever caught off guard when one of these big events happen, when, when the powers that be pull some shady stuff. And if you've been subbed to my channel, if you've been watching for a while, you were not caught off guard by this. We've been talking about the possibilities of this happening for a long time. I've put out several videos warning that this was probably going to happen eventually. They've even had conversations about it. They've had big meetings about it. The World Economic Forum has put it on blast that this is basically their next big plan. And remember, I think it was back in May. I want to say it was May. Maybe I'm wrong. But let's just say... A few months ago, a few months ago, members of Congress were issued satellite phones in case of an emergency where a cyber attack wipes out communications across America. So a lot of our politicians, they were issued these satellite phones that will work basically, you know, without any type of Wi-Fi, without any phone service or what have you. So if a cyber attack were to shut down all the communication throughout America, our members of Congress and stuff will still be able to communicate through these cell phones. I find it weird that these cell phones were issued, you know, not that long ago, right around the time that the World Economic Forum started having meetings talking about how the cyber attack is going to be the next big pandemic and all this other stuff. So like I've told you all before, none of this stuff is a secret. They've been out here openly talking about it for years now. They told you that they're going to try this. I don't know if this is a dry run from the government. I don't know if this is an enemy attack. We're living in a world where, where both of those scenarios seem extremely likely. But whatever it is, it damn sure ain't space weather. Let me know your thoughts about this, though, down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button if you would like to donate to the channel because YouTube is not like videos like this. You can donate to me directly via Cash App. I'll have my Cash App in the pinned comment. You can also send super thanks or you can help the channel by sharing, liking, subscribing, all of that good stuff. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all soon in the next one.